New York Jets have finally traded away star safety Jamal Adams and he is now headed to the Seattle Seahawks for a massive haul which I will get into in just a second before I do that what is going on y'all five sports talk back at it with another video talking of course some NFL and if you're new to the channel make sure to go ahead and subscribe if you have not done so and turn on the post notifications and follow me on my social media links down below and on the screen as always so again breaking news folks literally Adam Schefter just tweeted about it Jamal Adams is on the move and he is headed to the Seattle Seahawks so a lot to dive into here what the trade was the actual pieces involved who won this trade who lost this trade let's get into it here are the full trade details the New York Jets trade star safety Jamal Adams in a fourth round pick in 2022 to the Seattle Seahawks in exchange for a first round pick in 2021 a third round pick in 2021 another first round pick in 2022 and safety Bradley McDougal so again two first round picks a third round pick and safety Bradley McDougal headed to the Jets for Jamal Adams and a fourth round pick in 2022 so right off the bat like my raw reaction analysis to this trade is I'm leaning towards the Jets in terms of who won this trade folks because they got a haul okay I thought the Jets would maybe get a first round pick and a player, um, you know, something along those lines. But they got two first round picks and a third round pick and a player. So to me, I mean, again, right off the bat, that looks to be a solid, solid return for Jamal Adams. Now, let's just talk about this trade um, in terms of Jamal Adams and the perspective of that the Jets needed to trade this man now folks because even I initially thought oh the Jets you need to keep Jamal Adams because you don't have too many good players it's not a good football team right now and you want to trade away your potentially best player on your team but even I've come around because you know what Jamal Adams was getting way too toxic for the Jets he's still a good player don't get me wrong but he wanted out and when you have a player that wants out you gotta move on okay you gotta move on because you don't want that type of behavior in terms of having the culture on your roster right because Jamal Adams while he's a good player if you want somebody that wants out doesn't want to be there you got to move on from him and so he's calling out Adam Gase he's calling out the Jets it was just getting too toxic so you had to move on but at that same time you want to make sure you get something of return so the Jets did that they were able to trade Jamal Adams which they, which they should and needed to do and they actually got a very good haul in return, folks. Because, again, a first-round pick was the starting point for a trade with Jamal Adams. And then after that, you could kind of negotiate. But you're talking about uh, two first-round picks, a third-round pick, and a player. And all you had to give up was, obviously, Jamal Adams, but a fourth-round pick. So, to me, this is a great trade for the Jets because they got everything that they needed out of this. They got rid of Jamal Adams, so now they can not have to worry about him anymore and about paying him and just worry about moving forward what they want to do and they've got great draft picks now folks first round picks in the nfl they are very valuable so to me the jets absolutely got a great great deal from their perspective now let's talk about the seattle seahawks real quick okay the seattle seahawks obviously give up a lot right two first round picks a third round pick and safety bradley mcdougall well seahawks are in win now mode we know that russ wilson is uh, your quarterback you've got uh DK Metcalf there, Tyler Lockett. The Seahawks team is in a tough division, but when you have a quarterback like Russ Wilson, you are trying to win the Super Bowl every year. So the Seahawks are not rebuilding like the Jets. They're not a team that is a few years away. They're a team that wants to win now. And so you're getting a player that's going to help you win now in Jamal Adams. So that in itself is good. The Seahawks are a better team today or right now than they were a few hours ago before this trade. Absolutely. But how much better? Because does this acquisition of Jamal Adams put the Seahawks above the Saints, the Chiefs, the Ravens, you know, the 49ers? Does it put them above those teams? I wouldn't say so with conviction. They absolutely got better, but I don't think this puts them over the top. And so to me, the haul was just a little bit too much, too rich from the Seahawks end. Now, don't get me wrong, this defense... 
Now you got Bobby Wagner, KJ Wright, Shaquille Griffin, obviously Jamal Adams now, Quandre Diggs. You gave up uh, Bradley McDougal, but again, uh, this defense is going to be uh, more formidable now. The Seahawks secondary was was not very good. Or this is not the Legion of Boom that it was obviously a few years ago. Far from that. So the defense got better for sure, folks. But again, at the end of the day, we're also talking about how much better and compared to the other teams. And to me, the Seahawks did get better, but they still did give up a little too much. Now, if it ends up working out for them and they you know go far or they win a Super Bowl, this is worth it. But again, I'm not ready to put the Seahawks above those other teams. I still like this team. But again, in terms of what they gave up, it seems like a little too much for Jamal Adams, who is very good. But does he put you over to the top? That's uh, what I'm worried about here. And again, to me, on the offensive side of things, Russell Wilson still, I would have provided him with a little bit more. Yeah, you got DK Metcalf, you got Tyler Lockett, but Greg Olson at tight end, he's over, uh, over the top and washed up. You got Chris Carson there, who's okay, nothing great. Rashad Penny. So to me, offensively, they still need help uh, as well. But defensively, they did get better. But the Seahawks, I believe, give up a little too much. Overall, Jets won this trade. But the Seahawks, again, it's not like they got robbed or anything. Jamal Adams is a very, very solid player. So to me, overall... Jets won this trade. Uh, Seahawks absolutely did get better, but uh, they did give up a little too much when you talk about the compensation here for their side of things. So those are my thoughts overall on this trade. Folks, let me know if you guys agree or disagree who won and who lost this trade. Do you like it from each team's perspective? I still like this for the Seahawks because they did improve. But again, if you ask me to pick who won this trade, it is the New York Jets. So leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree. As always, thanks for watching.